And welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Legends Arceus Nuzlocke Challenge, where in today's episode, we're doing research tasks. Oh so, yeah, super fun. Super fun, of course, uh, if you recall, and I know that it has been one hot minute here, we are in the pre we are presently trying to level up our research task level to level four so that we can go to the next area and fight the next noble Pokemon, which is the uh, Noble Electrode. Uh, the good news is that we can, uh, we are, because we've picked up some new uh, Pokemon along the way, so that we are, we can go to like the Obsidian Fields lands, like the first area, for example, and uh, go to new areas that were inaccessible before because now we have the likes of uh, like our Basque Legion and stuff like that. So we can go access new areas and fight some other things. Um, so sorry it has been a while since we had the, since we had our last episode, we have been crazy busy here during the summer, um, which has just involved a lot of travel with people in the office and stuff like that. So unfortunately, the Nuzlocke has fallen a little bit through the cracks here and there, but in the fullness of time, you will be able to watch the entire playlist from beginning to end, which who knows, given the gameplay, uh, could be at any minute, right? Because the game is, in, is so much harder than other uh, Nuzlocke's. Um, I know a lot of you guys have said that uh, you would not mind if I did some sort of like catch and release um, system so that we could uh, get through the research tasks faster. Um, I don't, I have not, uh, I, that was not how I play it, planned to play it. Like I sort of knew this would be a part of the challenge. So I just sort of thought about that. Um, so I, I don't know if, if you guys think that would uh, make it way, way, way more enjoyable to watch so we could just sort of progress with the games faster, please let me know down in the comments uh, because then we can, you know, obviously just catch a ton of stuff and get the research tasks that way. That is a much faster way to do it. Otherwise, I'm just sort of wandering around aimlessly right now. But so, um, ooh, look, Norm's Lost Satchel. And I've been reading you guys' comments, and I am sorry I did. It does seem like a lot of the comments in the last one. So, like, I'm sorry if I am just simply not as well versed in Legends Arceus as I am in the other games in terms of strategy or anything like that. It is um, a much different game, and I don't, I just haven't, um, you know, otherwise, in, in past Pokemon games, they're all so similar that so much of your, like, um, history with the game carries over into new. Into the new games. Why well, I meant to, I meant to set a marker on this thing, and that I didn't. Norm, we're gonna go find Norm's lost satchel, so we can get that satchel thing while I, while I talk. There we go. Boom. It's probably an alpha Pokemon over there, but uh, and I've only, I mean, I've played through the game all of once on my own, and then the rest of everything you've seen me play is here. And now I'm a month off, so we can only imagine how much better every. I've probably gotten better in the time off, right? So sorry if I don't know every single shortcut in the game. Uh, or anything like that, and if I, it seems like I'm doing things slowly. I know you guys said I'm not working. I know how Eevee evolves, you guys. Someone uh, There seemed to be a, cons a concerning number of comments about how Eevee evolves, and that uh, it does not do it by level up, it does it by uh, friendship or by stone, and I'm completely aware of that. Uh, I don't know if there's anything I could be doing more to help Eevee become friendly uh, towards me, like feeding it berries or something. Uh, maybe that's something, but like someone said, if I want Umbreon, we can go for the Dusk Zone, which no, you cannot. Uh, <laughs> because that's not how it works. You have to get the friendship up and then evolve it at night. Like, I understand how to get to Umbreon. Uh, and, and like, seriously, if there's something else, if there's like a different way to do it, then like, we can try and just give it some, you know, can we get out of the ball, Eevee? Maybe we can't get, well, maybe not. Uh, if we need to like feed it stuff, then that's one thing, but otherwise, let's see. Anywhere that doesn't have a Pokeball on it, we have not, Deer Track Path, I feel like we did, right? Why is the Pokeball over here and not here on Deer Track Path? I feel like we got something there. I'm not gonna, won't risk that one, but let's see, Warn Bridge. All right, let's head over into this direction. I wonder if we can now catch something on Warren Bridge, we're a little bit closer. We can also probably just travel up to uh, here. That's probably, well, I don't even know if that looks any faster. Yeah, I don't think so. 
We're gonna head over to our marker there. Boom, and maybe we'll catch a new Pokemon and uh, start working on these research tasks. That'll be the fastest thing to do. Plus, it's always fun to catch a new Pokemon. Boom, 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 boom. Go, go, go. I think we might be able to catch like a Snorlax, which would be really exciting. I think oh, gosh, don't kill me. Wouldn't that be terrible if I just came back and immediately got destroyed by something? All right, heading into a new area now. I don't even sure if it's Warren Bridge. All right, new area. You can officially catch a different Pokemon in here. That's exciting. Let's see what we find. Anything in the water? We don't really need anything water because we have Luisa. The Buiza. Oh, there's some Magikarps. That definitely means Gyarados, right? Is somewhere over here. Over her. There's probably a Gyarados over here. If I had to. Obsidian Falls. Do we have anything over here? Orboro Tunnel. This isn't even on the map. Right? Well, Obsidian Falls and Warren Bridge. Okay, so we can catch two Pokemon is what I'm hearing, y'all. It feels like there's a Gyarados over here. It also feels like maybe we should try and explore underneath this waterfall, right? There's always stuff under waterfalls. Can we do it? Is there something back there? Am I going to get, like, hit by the waterfall? Uh, no. Okay. That's boring. There's nothing back there? Jeez. Jeez, lame. Jump. Double jump! Well, there's the Magikarp in the water, but that's sort of... It's a little underwhelming, although it wouldn't be bad necessarily to have, like, a, a Gyarados at our disposal, I suppose. More Bweasel up there. Mm-hmm, okay. Suppose. This is back to Warren... This must be the Warren Bridge in question, though, right? Well, we've already got Geodude, and... Yeah, now we're at Warren Bridge again. Were we, were we prevented from this spot earlier in the game? Not seeing anything new over here. At all. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. Oh, what is that? Item? Pep-up plant. We need to pick up some pep-up plants because that is, uh... <sighs> for sure how you get more potions. Which, some of you guys are saying I need to level up my potions. Things like, I can't do that until I get more... I think I need to level up my uh, Pokedex first, right? That's pretty much how that works. Oh, there's a grab. Oh, 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 Alpha Graveler. We can also go ahead and fight some uh, Alpha Pokemon to grind. That's been a good suggestion from you guys, so I might have to do some of that as well. What is over there? How do we get in there? What is this? What's this? You must have to smash through that with something. Obviously not our, not our weird ear. Or, or wait, man, we'll probably just use our Pokemon, can't we? Duh. What am I thinking? I'm about, just get off the, get off the thick, get, go, you go. Eevee, knock it down. Wow. Here I was thinking we needed something way stronger than that, and obviously we did not. Orboro Tunnel. Now this looks like, this looks like a very catchable area, doesn't it? There's like stuff lurking up in here. What's gonna be in here? Oh, I like the look of this place. I'm liking the look of this place, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. It's making me feel like the, the length of the tunnel is scaring me. It's like there's something very scary at the top, probably. Let's see. Alpha, oh, my chops. Ooh, that seems good. That seems good, but could there be more? But could there be more? I feel like there could be. All right, we're gonna run past these guys real quick, see if there's more at the top. All right, you go away. Now we know, Machop is on the case. That's, that's one option. I have not been in here. This is an area I have unexplored entirely. Oh boy, oh boy. It goes on for a while. Maybe we'll just keep riding our bear. Oh, look at this. Now where are we? Is this just the other side of the map? Pep up plant, take that. Oh, it kind of is. I see, it just goes from there into the Grand Tree area. Okay, so we should definitely just go catch that Machop because we don't have one of those and um, that'll be our catch for Ouroboro Tunnel. That'll be good. Maybe we should use our other. Yeah. 
All right, let's see it. Don't even need to fight it, right? Just go up and... Boom! Get the catch, get the catch! Boom, boom! Yay, my chop was caught, yay! Okay, so I'll need a name for that whenever we get back to the, uh... Back to base. One down. Catching stuff is definitely the fastest way to go. I know, I know there is a Snorlax we can go catch. I kind of want to see what level this guy is over here, though, this Alpha. Like, I feel like we could take him, you know? If we're feeling real gutsy. We got Luisa here. Let's see, what's this thing's level? How about you fight it, Luisa? 15, okay, so that's not, that doesn't seem that bad, right? Aqua Tail. Now, Aqua Tail is, does have the bad accuracy, so do I have to remember that? Remember you defeated with water type moves? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see if maybe we can get our uh, some sneaky attack up on this guy. Oh, maybe not. Turn around. Nothing to see here. Turn around. I'm not gonna totally kill you. Definitely not. Turn around. Lesser. Nice. Mm -hmm. Just give it a quick turn around. Just we have nothing to see here. Boom! Oh wow, that was such a terrible throw on my part. Oh! What? What? Can't you backstrike these things? Certainly you can. There it is! Boom! Now we're gonna get our first strike. You caught Gravelers unaware! Oh, level 30? Uh, see, we are like 14 levels higher, and we have like four times effective, so I'm just gonna go for it. Just just say kabam! Knock that thing out. One shot! Just like that. Amazing. Let's see the levels up on that. Yeah, seed of mastery and some grit dust. Lovely. Lovely. Hey you. You're going you're going down, my man. You are going down, Staravia. Oh, level 17, this is just a worthless fight though. Sorry. All right, let's just go catch the Magikarp. It will not be bad at all to have that on hand as well. Let's see. Okay. Oh, did we engage in battle? That's lame. I mean, it's not lame, but I don't even think we need to... Um, it's definitely not how you do that. What a what a tidy little throw. Just a little wrist action. Just boop. There we go. And caught. Boom. Two Pokemon down. And we knocked out our... Um... Bam. Number caught one. Yay, look. And uh, we totally destroyed it. I guess we can knock some out, right? That would give us some... Probably some research tasks. Although it's going to be such a worthless bit of experience. I wonder how much it gives us. Avoided the attack. Come on, man. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. This is just the easy fight and run, one and done action. I don't, I don't, I'm not looking to you for, okay? There we go. Number defeated. One out of one. Like, that's a research task, though. We did it. We're amazing. All right. The next question is, where is, oh, look. Max has lost Satchel. I know. I know there is a Snorlax back here somewhere, I think. We are gonna find it. We are gonna find it. I wanna say it's over here. Can we just like warp over here or something? Oh, whoops. Okay, so we should also put under, we should put like a Pokeball here, right? And we should put one in the tunnel. We caught that. Oh wait, no. Right here, Orbro Tunnel, ha ha. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go try and find that. Maybe it's over here by Windswept Run. We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. Might need to fast forward our way over there, but I've seen it before. I've seen it before. Hey guys, before we get too far into today's episode, I wanted to draw your attention to a brand new show we are launching over here called Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, where we are gonna be unboxing Pokemon cards, but the catch is that we are sending them to you. If you wanna be on the receiving end of some of the cards we open up on the show, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and sign up for the Box Breakers tier. This is gonna be a really fun new game show we have where each pack we open is assigned to a different patron, and you will 
score points based on the rarity of the cards inside. It sounds a little confusing, but I promise to catch the hang of it real quick. We actually recorded a pilot episode. If you want to go check that out right now, you can do so by clicking the card or just, you know, after you finish watching this episode. Uh, if you're interested in that, again, it is patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Should be a lot of fun. Hope to see you there. Ramanas Island. Okay, this is definitely a new place we haven't been before, right? Way over here. Okay, there's got to be something good here. Not an apom, I can tell you that. Ooh, look, a thing. <gasps> an infernape. Oh, an alpha infernape. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. There must be a chimchar around here then. There's definitely some monkeys. Boy, I bet that guy is a little bit stronger than the, uh, than the other alpha that we fought just moments ago. Alpha Infernape, though. That's exciting. That is an exciting prospect. <gasps> Chimchar. Okay, let's just go for that. That seems equally, if not even better, right? Boom! Get him! Yes, yes. No! Get back here. How dare you? <gasps> Did it run from me? That jerk sauce. That total jerk sauce, man. King's Leaf. Okay. Ooh. Oh, no. We already have one. We already have a Drift Blim. Oh, I can't believe we missed that chimchar. I want it. I want it. I don't, man. Can you imagine if we got the Infernape? Whew. That would be something crazy. That would be absolutely wild. And we're here on Ramanas Island. Oh! God, for a second I thought we were under attack. It was just Mercury. <laughs> just such a goof. I just laughed out there. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on. Where's the other? There's got to be another chimchar around here, right? Like, that wasn't. Dare we just go for it? Obviously, we've done this before, haven't we? Where it's just like, um. It's not gonna work! Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I'm thinking about it. I, there's no way. We're just. I mean, we have Luisa. We have Luisa. But gosh, it could have it could totally have something like Thunder Punch or something ridiculous like that, right? That would be the absolute worst if we went for this thing and then it just totally wrecked us. That would be terrifying. That would be way worse. Let's see if we can get it over there. Does it want that berry? Why can't I throw it at it? Well, that was sort of a waste. Oh, we hit it! Wouldn't it be- it'd be wild. There's no chance, yeah. No chance. I bet it likes the dazzling honey. If it's, like, around this camp like that. Ah! Oh boy, we are in trouble. We need to run. There's no way we can fight that thing. There's no way. Yeah, it's coming to attack us now. I don't like the sound of that, not one bit. I can't believe we missed the, the chimchar. It's so frustrating. All right, we're gonna have to come back here because that's like the only other thing apparently we could catch. So it seems. We'll come back, we'll come back. Over there, I think over there. Oh, uh, yes, the Snorlax. Okay, now we're on to something. Okay, now we're on to something. I might go for the fight with this guy. I might do it. I might do it. Can we just go for the throw? Oh, that was such a bad throw. Okay, we're gonna have to approach this thing from the back. Part of me just wants to... Guys, be quiet! There's like no chance of just catching it, right? Like. While it's eating. We know while it's eating is better, but... Times you've given it food? Yeah, come on, do it! Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. There's no way that's gonna work. No! No chance! We'll try one more time. Because he's a big boy. He likes the food. He likes the food. Come on! Wouldn't it be wild if we could- Oh! That hurt us! 
How? How? Don't you even, Snorlax. You're supposed to be slow boy. You're supposed to be slow boy. Don't come look at me. Don't come up here looking for trouble. Oh, gosh. He looks scary. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't like where we're... I don't like this. Okay. 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 Oh, jeez. That's not ours, right? Nope. Okay. See? You see, the, you see the danger I'm putting us in? Okay, let's all just go chill over here in the water for a second. Think. Boy, that thing is scary. You want to fight? Lesser Mercury? Venus, probably? Meh. Lame? All right. I, man, I want... Mm. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I looked it up. Apparently that thing is level 45. So I, that is as strong as our strongest Pokemon. So I don't think we're quite capable of getting that guy just yet, which is... Uh, we will remember you, Snorlax. We shall remember you. Oh, I want it so bad. Let's see if that Chimchar's respawned. Oh, we could catch one of the the Quillfish. That might be good. Okay, well, if the Chimchar is not back, we're gonna catch a Quillfish because that's pretty cool. Actually, they might even be two different locations because this is Ramonus Island. That might be Windswept Run. We know the ch where is the Chimchar? It was over here last time. Don't see it. Don't see it. Is that an alpha? This thing is going down. There's no way this one's that strong. Level 41! Oh man, this is bad. <gasps> Can we fight it? Should we just run? I think we have to run. Yeah. Goodness. What about a smoke? All right, see ya. Level 41. I mean to tell you. It's not even evolved. That is, this is some nerve-wracking Pokemon, y'all. Strong stuff over here. It's not like I don't think we could win. I just really don't want to die. <laughs> We've had so many deaths. So many deaths. Okay, we're gonna go for the overquill, because, well, whatever, the quillfish, I guess. Oh, we are so under attack. Oh, run! There's so many of them. All right, we have to heal up. Don't die. Clear off their damage. All right. Oh, come on. It hit it. All right, we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way. I don't know why that didn't try. 54! Why is it level 54? And we're poisoned. Yes, I want to run away. Why is it level 54? That's outrageous. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness, no, I don't think so. I do, we are in the wrong area, Sand Jam Flats. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're just getting. Like, where's my potions here? Mercury! Did you, did you see the level on that thing? Here I was thinking, oh yeah, look, we have access to new areas. Yeah, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be easy. Not a problem, you know, whatever. Unless we could just hit it with the ball.
Oh, we got it. What was that? Level 53. No way. Dude, that quillfish is like low-key the strongest thing we own now. That's unbelievable. Okay. Okay. That's pretty exciting. That, okay, there's absolutely also no way we could find that Infernape uh, based on our <laughs> present state of being. Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go try and find this satchel. That's what we're going to do because we need to find more satchels to get... Um... Oh, look, another alpha. Can we climb this hill without our Sneasler? Yes. Yes, we can. Oh, man, that's awesome. We are moving. I think we're only a few satchels away from me able to get to um to what we need. Here we go. Boom. Thanks, Norm. Oh, you know what we can absolutely do while we're up here? I seem to recall this particular area. Is go and fight ourselves a different alpha Pokemon. The Parasect. Now we already, we obviously can't catch this, but uh, we can go fight it anyway. I think we are okay to fight this thing at long last. Let's see, let's see. Well, we're in it, so, in it to win it. Let's go, level 30, go to the wild might. Let's go, fire fang, destroy that thing. Four times weakness, boom, nailed it. So we should get some good experience and some uh, EXP candy, the grit gravel, yes. Good to knock out the ones that we can. Absolutely, absolutely, you love to see it. Why is it so shiny? Why is it so shiny? It's got Stardust in it? Yeah. I wonder if we could fight the Bibberol down here. Probably, right? It's part water, and we have, um, Mercury. Mercury Madness. There it be! I'm trying to sneak up on it. Catch it unawares, right? Going down, homie. All right, now we get the first strike. And we're going to come in hard. Level 16, we can absolutely destroy this thing, right? We're just going to go in strong style, Thunder Fang. Destroy it. It's dead. No chance, bro. Yeah. More XP candy. Yay. All right. So I'm going to, at the moment, I'm going to head back to camp. Because we got, wait, is there any more? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Max is lost, actually. Let's go get that real quick, since we're right here. There must be something sort of alpha over here, though. I guess we could probably fight the alpha Scyther over here, too. Get a little bit more experience. What? How did someone die over here? What? <laughs> he said, wondering now. Sent back. I bet we can handle the Scyther. Since we're hunting alphas and stuff, it's right over here. There, aha, aha. It's very, very aware though, right? It's, uh, it's harder to sneak up on this guy, I think. But not impossible, obviously. There it is, boom, catch it, get it underwear, oh boy. We're just hunting alphas now, man. Oh gosh. Just, just, just turn around. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Just give it the old turn around there, bud. Oh, I think it saw us. Did it? Did it? I hate to go hunting against my favorite Pokemon. How can this not be everyone's favorite Pokemon? Look at him, he has sights for hands. Oh, gosh. Okay. Game is the foot, y'all. The game is the foot. Boom. We're in. We're in it to win it. Let's go. Level 42. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, I was, I was wrong. Oh, no. Oh, boy. That was bad. We're going to run. Yeah, we're going to run. We don't want to fight it. I'm sorry. 
I was wrong to bother you, Mr. Sir. Say thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Cool. It's, bye. That wasn't good. That was really bad. You guys are probably like, uh, yeah, you don't want to fight that guy. That would be silly. You would have been right. So now what we're going to do is head back to camp. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. All right, dude. How much stuff did we get done? Three Pokemon. Yeah, that's enough to report. But 53! Oh, man! That might have to go on the team, just for... Just for the sake of levels. I mean, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Most illuminating. Yep. Okay, great. Oh, it's so very, very far away. It's so very far away. Okay, we're gonna go return to the village now. Yeah. Seeing that right there, I think we might have to start doing catch and release because it is, um, it's starting to feel possibly impossible to get the amount of research tasks needed uh, <laughs> otherwise. That is absolutely outrageous. And uh, yeah, we, I, don't, I don't know about that. What is it you do? Um, actually, hold on. I think I need to go. What do we do first? We go down we go here. We can go lost and found. We can go boom. Yes. 75 merit points. 67. Come on, give me more. Give me like 150. 87. We're so close. We're so close. Oh, man. Um, let's go put some... We're going to need some names is what we're going to need. I'll tell you what. Work. We need some names. Need some names. Yeah, yeah. All right. So first, in the last episode a while ago, we caught a magmar that went unnamed. So we got to start with that. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Ooh, I like Manders. Manders. From Donna Manders. Of course, the exciting thing is that if you evolve a Magmar, you get a Magmortar, which has a literal cannon for an arm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, next up we have Machop. Ooh, Rashawn. Rashawn. R-A-S-H-A-U-N. Rashawn. Rashawn the Machop. Boy, it feels like having a solid fighting type could be helpful. Next up we have a Magikarp. Ooh, are you going to use it? I don't know. Right now, we already have a pretty good water type on the team. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I like. I like because we just got back from RTX and we yep. got a glimpse at uh, the show Ruby. We did. So I like Ruby. Just it like spelled like R the show no, or like R U B Y. Just R U B Y. Not R W B Y. Not R W B Y. Ruby. And lastly, the Quillfish, Quill. our new strongest Pokemon, mind you. What? I know. I just, I threw a ball at it floating in the water and I caught it. It was like level 53. I was like, what? What current level are you? My highest level otherwise is 45. So what? by like a lot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> okay. How about Lasagna? L-I-Z-A-G-N-A. <laughs> just that, like right classic lasagna spelling. No, it's spelled Lasagna. L I Z A G N A. Oh, hope my B. I thought you were just saying something funny. No, it just is funny. <laughs> lasagna. Lasagna. Somebody poisoned the lasagna. <laughs> and it was Quillfish, who is, I think you guys, going to have to go uh, onto the team. You guys also mentioned that... Uh, uh, I'm noticing in the comments people saying that Togepi being the fairy type probably won't have a ton of play since there's not a lot of dragon types we fight against. I would argue that there's not that many, but the ones you fight against are very strong. Uh, so I, for the moment, I'm going to replace Forge with Lasagna, even though we are, no, actually this, I was thinking this is like water, but honestly it's not because I'm so used to thinking of um, Quillfish as a water type, but this is just dark poison. So this is new typing on the team, so that is fantastic. We are gonna have to give Lasagna some serious attention here. When does Quillfish evolve into Overquill? Hold on. Oh, so you just, apparently you just have to use the move Barb Barrage 20 times, which we have 
Oh, not on team, though. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just put that right there. We have to use that 20 times strong style. Bam. That is excellent. Poison Jab, Dark Pulse, Aqua Tail. I'm liking this... Uh... Oh, yeah. Okay. Boom. Exit. Wait, didn't change it? Hold on. There we go. Gotta actually change it. Barb Barrage. All right, well, I know we're doing it in the next episode. We're going to evolve Lasagna uh, into Overquill, and then we're going to have a super strong Dark Poison type, our specialty on this channel, right? Because look at look at our other famous one, Stunky. Do you guys remember Noel, the awesome, the awesome Skun Tank? I sure do. Perhaps Lasagna shall be the legacy Skun Tank. The legacy Noel, right? I can't wait. I'm so excited to try this uh, Pokemon out. I've never used Quillfish ever. This is, uh, that's very exciting so uh hopefully we're gonna do that maybe we'll find one more satchel in the next episode so we can evolve nice as well that'll be very nice <laughs> and uh, i think i think if you guys agree in the comments i'm gonna start doing catch and release meaning we can just catch lots of pokemon and then just release them all so that we can uh you know advance to the next region faster because otherwise we're gonna be doing research tasks um forever forever so that might be the only way forward um but if you really disagree let me know otherwise i think that's gonna be the plan um uh, otherwise thank you again for uh coming back watching the show i'm sorry there was such a long break between episodes but we should be back and rolling up again here for the foreseeable future so i will uh see you next time but until then bye and before we go, we need to give a huge thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon. Thank you to Dakota Ballantyne, Bgrim13, Brant Klassen, Dola, Cameron Sherpa, Matt Cox, Robbie Cruz, Sammy San88, Stacy, Brian Ward, Emerald Phoenix, Lacey Nielsen, Abby Mondin, Afropunk, Aiden Rudinieres, Allison Overcamp, Alyssa White, Andromeda 192, Annika Merton, Aerofell, Becky Borst, Beck Squad, Benjamin Agassi, Brianna Bouchard, Bree Liv, Chris Ray, Jade Coulter, Kimberly Lee, Lauren Alexandra, Linwood, Maskmaker, Mots Faruli, Megan Stevens, Moss Twig, Rosalind Goddard, Simon Pertshirt, Tyler Siegel, Vincent Yael, Ez, 0412, Eduardo Bravo, James Buzanel, Joanna Ashcroft, Karen Choi, Luxba92, Monique East, and Stanley Beck. Thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon. If you'd like to see your name on this list and have your name read out loud, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Dead spork.